I am Dr. Nalini, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Business System, SA Engineering College. Today we are going to solve some gate questions relevant to algorithms. So this is the algorithm syllabus. In this syllabus, we are going to see about the topic as searching. So before going into our topic, we need to know the subject, what is algorithm. So algorithm is nothing but it is a step-by-step -step procedure used to get the input. Based on the input, we are producing the output. So here we are using the finite sequence of instructions to solve a particular problem. That problem answer we called as an output. So how this algorithm works. So in this algorithm we are receiving the input, make use of the input, we are processing the things in the algorithm after based on the input we are producing the output that is the way the algorithm is working here. Searching. So this is our topic we are going to see today. Here the main thing is searching algorithm. So what is searching that we need to know first. We have raw number of data. In that data we are going to find only one particular thing that is we call the searching here. For this kind of searching we are using searching algorithms. Here two types of searching algorithm will be there. One is a linear search, another one is a binary search. In this linear search is especially for random number of elements. There is more restrictions for any elements, any number we are given we can able to do a searching in that and we can able to get the answer but binary search is not like that if it is a sorted array of elements then only we can able to make it as a binary search is possible in the searching algorithm we need some important components to do searching the for uh, array containing the list the length of the list and the item for which you are searching these three components are there then only we can able to complete the searching is possible once the search is over we are getting the output as success otherwise failure how we are getting the success the searching item is find then we are telling as a success the searching item is not find then we are telling us that is not found a failure. So now we are going to see about linear search. What is linear search algorithm and how we are uh, going to do that search. So in this linear search we are also called as a sequential search algorithm. It is starting from one end of the uh, array and it is continuously searching one by one elements until end of the array we are going to reach until the end of the array we reach we didn't find the elements means the element is not in the list so how they are doing the searching now we are going to see about the linear search algorithm so the first step is we need to start from the first element of the collections So this is the list we are taken. So beginning of the first element of the collection of the element. So this is the beginning of the element we are taken. Next we need to compare the current element with the desired element. So this is the desired element. So this is the current element. We are doing the comparison between these two. Here the current element is equal to the desired element then we are going to return the index of the current element. If these two values are equal then we are getting the address of this current location. Suppose otherwise move to the next element. If these two are not equal then we are moving from the next element. This is the next element. This next element is considered as a current element now. We need to repeat these steps until 2 to 4. This is the second step. Again we are going to do the comparison of current element into this desired element. So we are repeating this process until we are finding our desired element. Suppose I am reaching that this is the final element in the list. I am reaching that final element. Still I am not yet find the element means the element is not found in the list. That is the meaning here. 
So here we are having one example to explain in this. The example is 10, 50, 30, 70, 80, 20, 90, 40. See, this is not a sorted array list. They are taken as a random list. Here they are given the search element is 30. We need to find whether the 30 is present in this list or not. So how they are going to check whether this list uh, 30 is present or not? So first we need to search with the current element, here the current element is 10 and the desired element is what? That is 30 here. So first step we are doing the comparison between these two, 30 is equal to 10. No, 30 is not equal to 10. So what is the next step we need to do? We need to move from the current element position from one step to the next step. So now we need to consider as this 50 as our current element. So now we are again doing the same process, the comparison of the current element and the desired element. 30 is equal to 50? No. So here also it is not. So again we need to move from the 50 to the next element. Now again we have started doing the comparison of this 30 and this next current element. So this current element and desired element is equal. So what is the result here? We are find the desired element. So now we are returning the position of this current element. Address of the current elements we are going to get. So finally we find the what is the search elements we found. So now we are going to see about the comp time complexity and space complexity. Time complexity has three types. One is the best case, another one is the worst case, another one is the average case. So here what is the best case they are telling now? Um, the first element, the first current element and the desired element searching, we are finding the answer means that is the best case. The first search result, we are finding the answer means that is the best case, that is they are telling here as order of 1. Next in the worst case, so what is the worst case here they are telling? If we are searching the entire thing, the size of the array is n, we are searching the entire up to n arrays but we are not finding okay the particular search element is not finding in the n size of the array otherwise the particular element is present only in the last nth element is the our search element so in this case we are telling us and worst case that is order of n next in the average case average case means what in the particular search list the element is present in the middle okay so middle means uh, it will be taken the size of the array is n then middle means what we need to search at least half of the size so n divided by two times we need to search all the items one by one with the desired element comparison so here they are telling us an average case time complexity is order of n next the space complexity so here we need to store a minimum space for the desired element and the current element searching space so for that we are taking order of one space for the iterations that is we are calling as a space complexity next applications of linear search in the application of linear search the first application they are telling us an unsorted list that is a very big advantage in the linear search because uh, all other binary search or some other searches we are taken we can't able to do unsorted list we uh, if it is an ascending order or descending order or some orders we need to follow based on that only the searching is possible but if it is an any order random anything we can able to do this search another one thing small data set because the number of time comparisons are very high in this so if it is a small data set we need to compare easily with the small data set and find the result as early as possible next the searching linked list here uh, the random number of elements is okay but we have a link between one and the next element uh, now we are searching with the current element if the current element is not 
then we are moving on to the next element how we will find the next element because if it is present in the list or array or somewhere with the connectivity if the next element is present then only we can able to make uh, checking is possible there is no next element or there is no connectivity then what is going to be happen we can't able to search and find so the linking between one element to the next element that is very important here next simple implementation so linear search is very simple easy to implement and easy to use anywhere next the advantages of linked list that is already we see uh, very big advantages that is not depend on any sorted list for any kind of list we can able to do it and it is uh, uh, not required any additional memory for doing this operations and small data set means it is very suitable the disadvantages if it is small data set advantage means if it is a large uh, data set means it takes more number of time that is a very big disadvantage they are telling us in time complexity is order of n that is very slow and it is not suitable for the large arrays then we will prefer the linear search algorithm if it is a small data set we are preferred linear search that is very useful and if it is a continuous if it is a continuous uh, data set only we can able to use it without continuous data set we can't able to use this linear search now we are going to solve the questions the first question we are taken as the average case occurs in the linear search algorithm what is the first option they are given here the item to be searched is in somewhere middle of the array yes the average case complexity already we seen right so it will be in somewhere middle of the array yes in middle of the array if it is present we are called as in that is average case complexity the next option is what the item to be searched is not in the array if not in the array means what that is worst case so this is not a correct answer so next what is the answer the item to be searched is in the last of the array if last of the array also what that is the worst case so this is also not a correct answer next the item to be searched is either in the last or not in the array so uh, if it is last or not uh, both the things also the worst case but here we are talking about the average case so only the first answer is the correct answer so here they are telling us the item to be searched is in somewhere middle of the array this is the correct answer next the next question the number of comparison required for an unsuccessful search of an element in a sequential search organized the fixed length symbol table of the length l okay so number of comparisons are required unsuccessful search unsuccessful search means what is the meaning because i am searching the entire list that is 1 to l because the length they are telling as an l so 1 to l unsuccessful search means the element is not found in the list okay i am searched the entire thing but the element is not found so that it is unsuccessful so not in the list of the number what is the answer so first i am started searching for the first element second element third element up to l so what is the thing is happen i am searching then for up to 1 to l times i am then searching but i am unable to find the element because the element is not present here so the answer is what l so l the first answer is the correct answer next what are the advantages of linear search over the binary search already i told you about what are the advantages are present in the linear search the array is ordered linear search it depends on array is order no so there is no need if it is array is in order i mean there is no condition at all so less number of comparison yes of course less number of comparison will be there only if it is a small set of data set suppose if it is a large set of data set large number of comparisons only it is going to be happen right next the last i time 
and space complexity it is less time and space complexity no if it is not like a less time and space complexity because we know if it is a large data set large amount of time only it is taken the linear search can be used irrespective of whether the array is sorted or not yes there is no restriction for the uh, array if it is in sorted or not sorted for any kind of array that is possible with the linear search that is the uh, correct answer for the linear search that is the very big advantage of the linear search here so the answer of the linear uh, advantage of the linear search is the linear search can be used irrespective of whether the array is sorted or not thank you we will continue on next section